Hey guys, welcome to my channel, La La Riri Jewelry. And this video is going to be a DIY on how to make these earring holders. And it's very inexpensive, it's very simple, and also very fast. And you can use these to display your earrings um, in your home, but I personally use them when I do vending events. So let's get started. So the items that you're going to need is a canvas. I purchased this two-pack canvas from Michaels and I got it in black. Then you're going to need some wire. You can use any wire of your choice, but I purchased this wire from the Dollar Tree. And then next you're going to need some one inch wooden blocks in squares. Then you're gonna need some glue. The glue that I'm gonna be using is Gorilla Glue. And then you're gonna need your wire colors, cu wire cutters and your rounded um, pliers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open up my canvas and lay it down face up and I'm gonna take my wire and I'm gonna measure the length of the canvas and I'm also gonna leave some overhang of wire about this much overhang on each side and the first the first piece of wire that you put down, you can just put it um, anywhere. So you just leave that overhang and then you take your uh, wire cutters and cut the wire. And try to leave the wire placed onto the canvas and flip the canvas over. So this is the canvas flipped over and this is the overhang of wire. So all you're going to do is take, just lift up the canvas a little bit, the, the fabric that's on top of the wood, and you're just going to take that wire and poke it through. And it should go right in and you just pull that wire all the way out and you can just pull it back this way and then you just go on the other side and just try to keep it as even as you can but it doesn't have to be perfectly even and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side just poke that wire through the canvas and then pull all of that excess wire through and then once you have your wire through you're gonna take your rounded pliers and you're just gonna roll that wire in so you just roll that wire up And then kind of just squish it down and then you just do the same thing on the other side
upside down. And then you're gonna flip that over and then straighten your wire out. And so what I do to measure the next uh, section of wire is I take a pair of earrings because I usually hook my earrings onto the earring holder with these little plastic earring bags because I use the earring holders um, for when I do um, vending events or if I'm displaying my jewelry and normally once I make my jewelry um, I put them on these little um, plastic earring posts but um, if you're just making these earring holders for a home you can just take a pair of um, uh, earrings of course you would have to only um if you didn't have an earring post you would just have to use um earrings with hooks on it that you're just gonna hook on to the wire so you can just take um the earrings that you have to use to measure um the length um that you're gonna put the next the next roll of wire so i just take these and sit it onto the wire like that and then I'm gonna roll out some more wire to do my next roll. So I'll set my next roll of wire about right here. And I'm just gonna repeat those same steps that I did with the first roll of wire. I'm just going to cut this with the wire cutters. And I'm just going to flip it over. Just try to bend the wire a little bit so you can keep the spot where you want to put it. And then I'm just going to flip it back over. And take that wire and poke. That hole. Pull it back a little bit. And then I'm going to roll the wire. And do the same thing on the other side. Poke the wire through. Push it back. And this is how the back looks so far. It's just the wire poked through and rolled. And this is how the front looks. It's not extremely straight, but that's okay. And what I'm gonna do now is just repeat this. Um, I should just get, I should get about um, between um, five to six rows. So now I'm finished with my wire. Um, I actually got five rows of wire onto this canvas. 
and just be sure to lay down the wire as flat as you can possibly get it and then also on the back once you roll up the wire make sure you roll it up as tight as you can get it as well because that's going to have the wire as straight on on this side as you can possibly get it the tighter that you roll it so now that you're done with that you just need to flip flip it back over and now we're gonna move on to gluing on the blocks that's gonna hold it up straight So with the other earring holders that I made, I only needed three of these blocks. Um, I put one on each end and then one directly in the middle. But for this one, um, this canvas is a little bit wider than the other canvases that I've used. So what I'm going to do in the middle of this one is put... Um, is take two of the blocks and glue the blocks together like this just to give more support and it's gonna go like this and so on the bottom of the canvas down here um, from the wire make sure you don't put the wire very close to the, the edge because the blocks are going to be at the bottom. So in the corner of your canvas just lay down some glue and then I'll put some glue on to the black as well and you're just going to lay it down flat. And then you're going to repeat the same thing on the other end. And I'm using Gorilla Glue. But you can use any permanent glue um, of your choice, like um, E6000 glue. Just use a really good glue that's going to really um, stay. Then you want to just hold those blocks down a bit and then place a block directly in the middle. And just make sure you get a generous amount of glue on there. And then for the, the middle block, I'm just going to take another block and glue it on top of this, like on top of it like this, just to give extra support.
and I'm just going to hold them down for a little bit just so they can set properly. So I let the blocks um, dry a little bit. Um, Gorilla, do, Gorilla Glue um, does make kind of a foam. Um, let me show you a little bit closer. Once it starts drying, um, Gorilla Glue does make like a foam. So that's just something to be aware about in case you want to just try another glue. But this is going to be the back side of the earring holder so it doesn't really matter. Um, and the last thing that I'm going to do is the, the wire that's on the end. I'm just going to seal it with a little glue um, just because I don't want um, any ends of the wire to poke out so I just seal it with a little glue. And being that Gorilla Glue does foam up, try to use as little as possible because it is really good glue and it will hold. And then also I just sew the wires in to the canvas on the end with glue just in case the wire will bust through the canvas because it can do that. So if you just seal the ends of it with glue, it will give it extra support. And even if it does break through the canvas, it will still stay because it's glued down. And then also I put the blocks on kind of a part where the the canvas was up a little bit. So all I did was just kind of hold the blocks in place like this just to put the pressure on it. And then once the glue started to dry, it just held in place. So this is all of the steps um, to make the earring holders. Um, all you need to do now is just um, sit it to the side and let it dry. So with the Gorilla Glue, it's going to dry super foamy. As you can see, all of the foam that formed because of the glue. But what you're going to do is just clean up the foam. And you can easily get up the excess foam with just um, some scissors and just break it off like that. So this is how the earring holders look once they're done. And this is how you can um, display your earrings. Very inexpensive project under $10. The blocks do support the canvas and holds it up straight. But if you want more support, if you're going to hang heavier earrings, just add extra layers of um, blocks to the back. Or you can also lean it against something for more support. But it does hold up with just the three blocks. And this video was requested by one of my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing, subscribing to my channel. And also everyone else, please subscribe and also like and share this video. And thanks for watching.